alaikum everyone welcome back to exclusive mode so we have a wonderful day today's episode is going to be on how to cut two pieces dress which is top and trouser the trouser i'm talking about is a palazzo trouser and the top is not a fitted trouser it's not a fitted top and it's also called together with the sleeve so and that is what we'll be cutting out now the necessary measurement i'll be telling you i'm using three and a half yards of this fabric to cut it out which the two yards and ten inches is going for the top and the many inches is going for the palazzo trouser so the first thing we'll be cutting here is the top so i'll be deducting two yards and ten inches from here now this is after deducting 2 yards and 10 inches from the main fabric and being folded into 4 places. You can see this is into 2 then into 4. You can see it now. So the next thing we're going to take here is take the length of the sleeve. The length of the sleeve from the center of the back ear is going to be 29 inches. I'm using the whole length because it's a long sleeve. So with the same allowance, this is 29 inches. From this 29 inches now, I'll be taking a shoulder slant of 1 inch. So that means I'll be slanting it down to this 1 inch from the center of the back. So after slanting it down to this 1 inch, the, ne the next thing we're going to take is to take the armor measurement. Since it's cut together with the sleeve, we're not going to take the normal armor. The normal armor is 8 inches, but here I'll be using 9 inches since it's caught together with the sleeve so when i come to the center of the back and front i'll be using 10 inches because one inch is there we've deducted one inch for the shoulder slant there so to make it a straight line to this nine inches so this area must be 10 inches so the next thing to take from here now is the bust measurement the bust measurement i'm using here is bust 40 that is 10 in 4 places, it's going to be 40 inches. You can see, this is the bust 40. I'll be using 1 inch of seam allowance. And this is not constant, you can use any inches of a choice. So I'm using 1 inch of seam allowance here. So to connect the lines together. So, this is after connecting the lines together. The next thing that I mean is to take the length of the top. The length of the top here, I'll be using 30, 38.5 inches from the center of the neck, the front neck and back neck. I'll be using 38.5 inches. The 38.5 inches that I'm using is, the, is with the same allowance. So this is my 38.5 inches. So after that, the next thing we're going to do now is to chalk out the shape of the top. From here now, you have to slant. If you want that shape to come out the way you see, the way you are seeing it on the thumbnail, so you have to slant your hand to occupy the whole length of the fabric you are folding, like this. This is what I mean. You can see from this forty inches, you can see the way I slant my hand down to the length of the top. So if you reduce your length that means it won't be as wide as the top you are seeing on the picture so you have to wide your hand make sure you wide the ruler if you are holding it out slant it let it be wide like this to reach the length of the top this is after slanting it out the chalk is not rising properly on the fabric so by the time i cut it out you're going to see it properly so let me cut it out and show you how it's going to look like This is not the shape of the top so the next thing that you mean here is to cut out this area you can see this is ammo length the wideness of the ammo is not the same as the wideness of the wrist so you have to take a measurement of the wideness of the wrist they shape it 
to that measurement and that is what i'll be doing here so the widest of the waist there with the same allowance is six inches six inches so these are six inches then from here we are going to slant it down to six inches you can see you can as well take the measurement of this area if necessary but yeah i'll just be slanting i'll just slant it down to this area this is after chucking it out the next thing is to cut it out this is now the shape of the sleeve so the next thing i mean is to cut out the neckline you can cut any neckline of your choice but here yeah, you continue a round neckline a round shape neckline with a slit at the back which has a loop and it also has a button holes so the roundness will be three and a half inches then the deepness is going to be two inches for the back then three inches for the front so let me cut out this by the before i cut the front so by connecting them together before cutting it so i cannot open it to cut out the front neck i'm just going to lower it with one inch then i cannot cut it So this is after cutting it out. This is the back neck and this is the front neck. So we can we have to split it down to four inch. Then we will put our loop to it. But before then, I'm going to cut out the eye low because the top is an eye low. It's a little eye low from the front. So from here, I'm just going to go up a little bit to three inches. The eye low is not that obvious. It depends on the length you want. You can make yours four, five inches. It depends on how you want it to be. But here, yeah, I'll be making it of three inches. Then from these two inches, I'm going to slant it down to this edge, the sharp edge here by the side. Now, this is after cutting it out. This is after cutting it out so there's a shape at the side of the front so we're going to i'm going to take a measurement from this angle here to 13 inches this is with the same allowance this is 13 inches so from this 13 inches you chuck it down to this area you can see from this 13 inches, you cut it down like this. So, after cutting it out, this is how the shape is going to be. So, the next thing that we mean here is to cut out the slit at the back. So, for the slit here, I'll be making it of four inches from the after the cutting of the neck. I'll be making it of four inches length. Then I'm going to slit it down to the four inches. You can see. So and that is all about the top. The next thing to cut out now is the trouser. I'm using the remaining inches for the palazzo trouser. This is into four places. This is, it has been folded into four. You can see equally. So the next thing to take from here now is the flap measurement and this is not an eye waist but i'll be taking two inches up for the bank i'll be taking two inches up for the bank for the band two inches for the band then i'll be taking the flap measurement 
the way the hip measurement is going to be the waist measurement because it has an elastic cover it's not a fitted trouser you know so the hip measurement here is 42 inches like this this is 10 and a half in four places is going to be about 42 inches so i'll be making use of a one inch i'll be making the one inch for the same allowance so from here now I'll take two inches up for the band two inches up for the band then take the flap measurements of 28 inches so 28 divided by 2 is going to give us 14 inches so I'll come to this area now and take my 14 inches so I'm going to chuck this up so after taking it up this way the next thing we're going to take is to take one inch from here then one inch from here to then you're going to connect the one inch together you can see from here to here one inch then if i'm cutting out i'm cutting it down like this so by the time i cut it out you're going to see let me cut it out because the chalk is not waiting properly on the fabric so i'm cutting it out just for you to see the shape you can see now so this is how it's going to look like then here this is my 10.5 inches this is the line the 10.5 inches with the same amount this is so this is done the flap this is one inch one inch so this is our flap so from here now you come down to this area to take the wideness of the leg here so i'm using 11 inches with the same allowance like this so this is the wideness then the length of the the trouser is going to be 45 inches so take it two inches up for the band to 45 inches so this is 45 inches this is now 45 inches to this area then from this flap i'm slanting it down to this 11 inches you can see so the next thing is to cut it out This is now the shape of the shoulder. So the next thing that we mean is just cut the band to it. After cutting the band, this is the area we're going to put our elastic rubber. So let me go and join the top and join the shoulder and show you the finishing. Welcome back. Here is the finished work so far. This is the two pieces dress. The top and the palazzo trouser as you can see this is the palazzo trouser with an elastic at the band this is the two inches they are going to add to the band then we had our elastic over to it you can see it you can see the damp part and this is the top this is the neckline that will buy us and there is a loop at the back there is it so what we mean here is just for me to put my button here this is the loop you can see this is the loop you can see this is the side that we cut out you can see the shape now and this is the front that is a bit lower than the back you can see it so if you're watching my video for the first time please at the end of this class make sure you subscribe to it and make sure you on your notification bell so that whenever i upload any tutorial you'll be notified see my next class
Bye.